So we are here at the International Energy Forum at the eighth annual Symposium for Energy Outlooks. I am joined by uh, Dr. Ian Reid from the uh, Energy Information Administration with the Department of Energy in the U.S. Uh, Dr. Mead, can you explain to us uh, a little bit about what you think about this meeting? It's your first time here uh, and some of the conversations that are going on between OPEC, uh, IEA and EIA uh, and how important it is for this type of dialogue to take place and uh, your overall feeling about, about this type of forum. One, one of the things is to understand where energy markets are heading into the future and to, to, to share experiences and, and uh, also discussions of where some of the uncertainties are, I think are invaluable. Now, not everyone has to come out with the same outlooks, but at least understand the different assumptions and the transparency that, that, that goes into some of the results is important. Well, what do you think about the, the value that the IEF itself as an organization brings uh, to this dialogue? I, you know, I think it's an important organization. It brings people together in order to understand differences both in modeling and, and, and forecasts and outlooks. And it also helps with, uh, with data collection as well so that we've got a better understanding of what's going on in the world and where the world's heading as well. Give us a sense of, of, of what Shale is doing right now. It's, it's uh, the, the development's happening in a lot of areas of the United States, but the Permian is, is the largest right now. Um, it, in terms of our outlook going forward, we see shale comprising about 65% of the cumulative growth in U.S. oil production going forward. Um, we see the U.S. producing about 10 million, between 10 and 11 million, uh, million barrels a day. Um, but that level levelizes off by about 2030. So it is, it's, it's kind of a short midterm phenomenon. Um, we do see it leveling off in the longer term as, as the development goes into less productive areas.